both breathing out open and breathing in to come back here. Mermaid stretch, bend the knees, side bend and stretch up, look up to the ceiling and then stand up straight to the knees in the middle. So it's a knee bend, side stretch, lift as you breathe in, breathe out, stand up again. All right, keep on going, a few more of those. Your hips stay over your feet. So the knees bend, but we don't lean that bottom across to the side. It's just a little gentle sit, uh, sit down, breath in, Breath out, last one. So really big, top to toe, warm up, lots of stretching today, hold there. Interlace the fingers, turn the palms down. Drop the chin down to the chest. Roll the shoulders forward and stretch in between. Look at the hands. Keep looking at the hands, breathe in at the top, squeeze your bum cheeks, huge circle out. Interlace those fingers again. Right, breathe in, look down. Breathe out, take your hands to shoulder height. Breathe in, look up to the ceiling, breathe out for the circle. Hands up to the ceiling now. Rest the shoulder blades down into your back pockets. We're going to shrug one shoulder up to our ear and then let it come down again. Breathe in to shrug the other ear and then let it come down. Good, so we're just literally going to go alternating sides. I like to keep your elbows soft but straight in the air. Don't let those elbows kind of come too wide. We're reaching directly up. And directly down, two shoulders up and down. Breathe in, breathe out. As you breathe out, really tuck the cage down towards your pubic bone. Breathing in and breathing out. Last one, breathing in and breathing out. Hold it there. Turn your palms away from each other. Take the hands as far behind you as you can. Tuck the rib cage down and then circle. So a huge stretch through those shoulders. Fantastic. Sink into a knee bend, nice and easy, all the way up. Breathe out on the way down, breathe in on the way up. I'm gonna go three, breathing in, four, breathing in. Stay at the bottom, five pulses. Five, four, three, two, one, and squeeze the bum, stand up. Turn your toes out, turn your heels out. Same again, breathing out. Make sure the knees are over your toes, breathe in to stand up. Breathing out, breathing in. Three, all the way up. Squeeze your bum. Four, at the center. Stay down there, pulse four. Five, four, three, two, one. And squeeze it, bones, pull those shoulders back. Turn the toes out again. Turn the heels out again. Last one. Breathing out on the way down, breathing in on the way up. Four. Three, two, and pulse. Five, four, three, two, one, and just stand up. Keep the feet nice and wide. Float the hands up. Open up, stretch into that Cleopatra again. Bring the hands back. Knee bend this time. Same thing, open the hands, palms to the floor. Stay there. We're gonna reach the chest across without moving the hips. So you get a nice stretch up the side. Let's bring it back. And again, keep the arms parallel with the floor. Have a think about it, where are we? Bring it back to the center. Stand up. In again, straight down. Reach across, hand on the knee. Extra stretch, we're still not moving those legs. Bring it back to the middle. Reach across to start off with. Then put the hand down and get that extra stretch back to the center. And come up again. Down we go again. Last little extra. Reach to start. Extra stretch. And then we're going to straighten off the other leg and reach all the way. Diagonal line, toe to fingertips. Breathe in and breathe out. Fantastic. Reach. Stretch across. Straighten out the opposite leg. Foot to finger. Breathe in. Extra stretch. Breathe out, down, stand up. Excellent, guys. All the looking again. I'll go side on to show you in the middle of your mat. Step forward, step back. Nice wide stride. When we drop into the knee bend now, we're going to see if we can keep your knee directly underneath your hip. So nice 90 degrees at both knees as we come up here. It's a little bit too wide, actually. Hand on hips, shoulders pulled back and down. Really think about softening that rib cage down. Breathe out to lower to the floor. 
breathe in to come up, breathing out to lower, breathing in to come up, three and up, four and up, five, hold it down there, big chest lift, draw that belly button towards your spine and pulse, five, four, three, two, one, step in with the back leg and then the front leg, good, opposite leg forward and back, chest lift, all the way to the floor if you can, lift up, draw the tummy in, four and lift, three and lift, two, shoulders back, one, stay down there, normal breath, five, four, good, three, two, one, step back, step forward, fantastic, okay, let legs a little shake off, well done, okay, last little bit for a warm up, let's go for the toes, Go onto a tippy toe, scrunch the toes forward, and just almost press the heel forward. So getting a real big stretch over the front of your foot. So you put as much or as little pressure in as you feel comfortable with. Set that foot back down again. Right onto the tippy toe of the other side, scrunch the toes over, then push the heel forward again. As much or as little pressure as your toes want to. It's quite a um, quite extreme stretch, so be nice to yourself. Back down again. Double check your arm all the way together. I want to go half stance, so narrow. So a half turn out with those toes and a half turn out with those heels. You drive one heel forward, knee bend, and then just gentle bounce across to the side. Fantastic. Let the arms start working with you. Take the hands to shoulder height as you go through. Real nice and easy little toy soldiers that turn the palms to face each other. And again, same as done before, let's get the movement up and down rather than kind of a side to side bounce. So really try to think about that lift and lower through those heels, lift and lower through those heels, good. As you push your heel to the floor, squeeze the bum cheek on that side. So as the heel touches, activate a real big bum cheek squeeze on that side. Let's really start warming up for that posterior line. So I'm going to really mobilise every single joint of your whole body today, but then I'm also going to work them also quite hard. Still going to give you different levels to work on, and you're still going to really make sure you're going at the level that's right for you. Three, two, one, and rest. Go to the edge of the mat, facing the length of it, feet hip distance apart, beautifully tall. Three roll downs now, please, guys. Breathing in at the top, shoulders back. Breathe out, chin to chest. Shoulders on forward, all the way down, breathe in at the bottom, and breathe out to gently curl and roll the stuff back up again. Shoulders back, head up last, two more, breath in at the top, breathe out, roll all the way down. Guys, really try to stay as curved as you can for as long as you can. Breathe in at the bottom, breathe out to roll up again, really curved. Shoulders back, second to last, head up last, last one to the floor this time, breathe out. All the way down, sink, 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 sink. Bend the knees until you can get your hands flat to the floor. Walk those hands forward, relax the toes down. We're gonna start off with a mobilizer. And this is the exercise you're also gonna do whenever the next set gets too hard, you're gonna come back to this exercise. Thread the needle, level one. You can take one hand off of the mat. Thread it underneath the opposite armpit. Drop the chest and really reach through. Don't put the hand on the floor. Reach in that straight line and then just push the arm up and replace the hand back down again. So take the hand off, thread it underneath, turn the chest, look towards the hand and then bring it back, hand down. Okay, keep on going, alternating sides. Breathe out to thread, breathe in to replace the hand. Breathe out to thread, breathe in, to replace the hand. And it's going to keep on going with that nice gentle movement. So thread the needle. If ever we get to a point in the next two exercises where it's just getting a bit too much, don't stop. Come back to this one instead. Okay, come back to the center and hold. Fantastic. We're going to tuck our toes under. We're going to start with a leg pulling prone level one. So lift the chest, these guys. Lengthen the back of the neck, 
Drop the shoulders away from the ears and lift the base of your rib cage up an inch. So it's really almost trying to think about getting that rib cage right up towards the ceiling. Tucking the toes under as far as they can, set that center, and then just float the knees off the floor a couple of inches. Nothing in the rest of the body should have moved, and then lower those knees back down again. Same again. Lifting the knees, let's hold for a breath in, and breathe out to lower. Let's breathe in, let's set the center, breathe out to float, breathe in to hold, breathe out to lower. That's level one, let's go straight into level two. Let's take the hands forward, one and a half hand positions. And this is our start position with a bum back and our chest back, okay? So toes still tucked under. Float the knees off the floor, then push the weight forwards to a full press up, rocking the weight backwards, then lowering the knees down. So four movements, knee lift, shoot forward, press up position, drive your bum back, then lastly, drop your knees. Try to breathe out through the two movements here. Breathe in, hold the plank, breathe out, knees back, knees down, breathe in, reset, bum back, breathe out, lift and forward, breathe in to hold, Breathe out, back, and down. Two more. Breathe in to hold. Breathe out. Lift. Remember, the breath is important, but it's not the be all and the end all. I'd rather you have some really good, strong movements before anything else. Back and down. Okay, the next time I can stay up in that position, and we do an old fashioned mountain climber. So we start working those abs from the front. Breathe in, if you want to, breathe out to lift yourself up and rock forward to that press up position. Now we can take one knee, bring it across the body towards the opposite elbow, but you're not going to move the chest and you're not going to change the pressure in those hands. Put the foot back down again, that's the hard bit. Drive the elbow, sorry, the knee towards the other elbow, foot back down again. Breathing out and breathing in, if you want to do it, now don't go too fast, so even if you do these in the gym and you know, do them really quickly, slow the movement down, try to get as close to your elbow as you can without changing the pressure through the arms and the shoulders, and that's what's going to make it a bit more Pilates and actually a bit more abdominal. So let's go for two more of those, breathing out and breathing in, and then when you're finished, rock the weight backwards, lower the knees last, and then just do a quick stretch off into a little shoulder stretch. Okay, good. You keep on in that rest, 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 rest position. Got to get some fresh air. Right. Probably not wearing the right T-shirt today as well. Nice little job. Okay, sit yourself up, shoulders back, little wrist rotation. We've got one more thing to do up here. The next exercise, though, you can go onto your fist if you want to, okay? So we're gonna get into that press up position together. So tuck your toes under, feet a hip distance apart. Take your hands out from underneath your shoulder to one and a half hands in front. You're still gonna get into that kind of strong position in that leg pull position. So knee lift, push forward. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a press up but you're only going to do the downward part of it. So keeping your back level, here's what you can do. You can lower the chest, lower the belly button, and as slow as you can, go all the way to the floor, and then just rest there for a second. You're going to push yourself up, and start again. So we're only going to do the downward bit. Let's go. Hands in front. Breathe out. Lift the knee. Shoot forward. Hold for the breath in. And then slow as you like, if you want to put a breath in, fine. Lower all the way to the floor. Relax the toes. Push yourself up. Tuck your toes under. And again, knees up. Shoot forward. Hold for the breath in. Lower. Slow, 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 slow. Go with your hands. Relax the toes. Push up. Sit back. Tuck your toes under. Keep on going. So it's a real nice slow movement. All the way to the floor, relax the toes, sit up, keep on going. Those of you who've done Pilates with me for a while knows that I like these. 
On your next couple, if you want to, we're going to hold halfway down. Now remember, this is quite advanced now, so if you want to, you go back to your thread the needle, just to kind of get everything relaxed. If you want to, you go into your press-up position with your fist. The rest of us, if you haven't already started, let's go down, halfway, stop, hold for a breath in, then lower all the way to the floor. Same drill, up you come. Breathing in, breathing out to lift, breathing in to start. Breathe out to lower, breathe in to hold, breathe out all the way to the floor, relax the toes, last one, I promise, all the way forward, breathe in, hold, halfway down, hold, all the way to the floor, rest, okay, proper child pose stretch now, all the way down, now we can do them with the knees bent, but you know what, let's get that lower <laughs> in the full press up position if we can, all right, we're going to go on to our backs next, if you've got a Pilates ball or a block, let's have it available at your side. Come in from the mat and then gently roll yourself down. Fantastic. We're going to start with some shoulder bridges. Okay, some nice simple shoulder bridges. Arms along by your sides. Let's open up through the collarbones. Tuck the shoulder blades under if you can. Soften the ribcage down in towards that mat. And feet start together. Turn your toes out. Then turn your heels out. So we always want to be in that nice hip distance apart alignment. Sign up for the shoulder bridge level one. Roll into your backwards tilt. So pushing the lower back into the floor. You start to peel your tailbone off the floor using that bum cheek squeeze. Lift up one vertebrae at a time off the floor, but stop when the ribs start to kind of lift by themselves. So you always want that really strong abdominal connection between the ribs and the top of those abdominals. And you just stay there for a second and then roll all the way down. So again, any level you want to stay at, just go back to level one. Ball or block between the knees now. Ball or block between the knees. Again, if you move your feet, double check their back to hip distance apart, please. We're going to go straight up to level two. So you're going to roll up into the shoulder bridge. Get to the top. Stretch one leg away, don't let the thighs move, keep them hips level, put the foot back down again. Stretch the other leg, hold it guys, you don't need to put your foot down yet, Thank you. then put the foot down again. All the way back down to the floor, one little bit of the vertebrae at a time. Okay, so now, stay at level two, or level three, you do not put your, your bum down in between ten reps. All the way up. All the way up to the ceiling, shoulders down, ribs low, 10 leg extensions and down, nine and down. Now the ball is there, the block is there, you've got to keep that control through the ball, which means if that ball is falling out, if the knee's a bit more of a squeeze, you've got to work a little bit harder at keeping your hips lovely and level. You've got four, three, really with the breath, inhale, exhale, Hold the stretch out there before you bring it down again. And then last one, all the way, one vertebrae at a time, all the way to the floor. Ball out. Some of you have never gone up to level four before, so I'm going to teach you the movement first. Single leg tabletop, please, guys. Straighten that leg in the air. You're going to flex the ankle as you lower it down halfway. Point the toe as you lift it back up towards the ceiling. Flex the ankle on the way down, point the toe on the way up. Flexy down, pointy toe up. Flex down, straight knee the whole time, that's it, and then bend the knee, foot to floor. Quick check on the other side. So tabletop, stretch leg, flex ankle down, halfway only, point the toe to lift. Three, and up. With the breath is breathe out, breathe in to the ceiling, breathe out, breathe in, foot down, tabletop to the floor. That's great, that's fine, you can do that if you want to. The rest of us, shoulder bridge level four, you do that leg movement in a shoulder bridge, let's go. Hands to the floor, roll up, curl that pelvic tilt, lift the tailbone, hold, right, squeeze your glutes, push, 
your heel into the floor and then float the other leg to tabletop. Stretch that leg in the air, flex the ankle, lower the leg halfway, point the toe, lift. It's three more, remember guys. So take your time with a breath. Now pay attention to your hips. You've got to keep those hips level and in line. Don't bend those knees. Last one, up. Bend the knees, tabletop, foot to the floor, roll down. Quick change, breath in. Breathe out, roll up, all the way, all the way, all the way, shoulders back, tabletop on the other leg. Press that leg here into the floor, straighten the leg, flex the ankle as you lower it, point the toe as you lift it. Three, fantastic, that's great. Two, very nice. One, all the way to the ceiling, and tabletop, foot down, hold, then you roll down. You've got to be in control of every movement. Okay, quick knee hug into the chest, rolling in and out, and then knees wide, knees together. I'd like to take you one step further, if I may, and we're going to take the hands away from the foot. So at the moment, level one, two, three, and four, the arms are being used for support. So we're going to stick at any level. You can be level one if you want to. Any level that you choose to do, we're going to do a whole round. Let's take the hands up, guys. Come on, all the way, hands to the ceiling. Melt the shoulder blades down in towards the mat. So everyone's hands off the floor. If you can't do the level you just worked at, go down a level of shoulder bridge. Don't put the hands to the floor, okay? Let's go. Long back of the neck. Set those feet. Really press those feet into the floor. Roll up. Squeeze the glutes. Peel up one vertebra at a time. Hold. Okay. Level four. Tabletop. Straighten the leg. Lower it down with a flex ankle, point the toe as you lift. So remember, if you want to go to level three, just do the straight leg extensions. Level two is leg extensions, but you drop down in between. Last one of four, bend the knee, foot down. Stay up there, come on, there's a little bit of endurance, last bit. Tabletop the other leg, straighten, flex the ankle, lower, point and lift. Four, three, breath, breath. Keep the breathing going, two and one, bend the knee, foot down, hold. Just check your hips are level, arms to the floor, extra push, push the hands down, really lift the chest, really lift the bum cheeks, and then gently lower, wicked, okay. Knees into the chest again, circles. Hands to the inside of the knee, hold the knee, and let the knees just open wide the feet. Relax, really dangly feet. So basically we're opening up the hips quite a lot. A little push with those hands if it's comfortable, don't pressure it though. Big press, breath in, breath out. Hug the knees around into the center and then put the feet back down again. Okay, so we have a hip twist next. If you've got a ball, I'd like you to do one last shoulder bridge and put that ball underneath your bottom and then put the weight on it. If you've got this Pilates ball, you're creating a wobble. If you've got a pillow or a cushion, you can put the, the uh, under there, but it hasn't got the same kind of balance element to it, but no drama if not. Arms along by our sides. We're going to go straight to level three. So bring one leg up into a single leg tabletop, please. Press the other heel into the floor and then using the hands for support, let the foot and knee roll out to the side and then roll back to the middle. So we're breathing out to let the knee roll out. We're breathing in to bring it back. Keep on going. But you're looking, if you can, at your static knee. So your vision is you're going to look now at your static knee always. Foot and knee roll out and in, but it's the other side that's actually doing quite the hard bit of the work. So press that heel into the floor, do one more, same leg, and then gently put that foot down again. Okay, good, that looks fine, but I think let's use our, let's use our ribs more to help stabilize us. So now lift the other leg into a single leg tabletop. And before you start to move, press your rib cage down into the mat, so don't change the, the nice curve of your lower back, but really press your bra strap or where you wear a heart rate monitor. 
press it really far into the floor and now go breathing out to let the knee roll away and breathe in and again hopefully yeah looks a bit more stable we want this really stable position that you can let that leg go anywhere it wants to but you're completely in control of the movement so we're still looking guys still looking at the opposite knee we're still looking at the static knee because we don't wants it to move okay good two more breath out breath in squash the ribs don't forget it yeah there we go in and foot down okay if you've got the ball good you've still got a bit of a wobble going on if you don't know where to get one from text me okay we can get one together a few quid everybody up to level four everybody let's go hands out now they're going to go just a little wider this time so hands just outside your mat Really pull those shoulder blades into the floor, single leg tables up, deepen that abdominal connection, press that ribs into the floor, lift the second leg into tabletop, touch the knees and ankles together, a little bit more instruction for yourself. Let one knee roll out to the side and then in, but touch the feet and knees together again. Let the other knee roll out to the side. All the way in, touch the knees and ankles together again. So you're going to uh, do just a continuous alternating side. But again, we're still looking at the static knee. It should give us nearly all the information that we need as to how good that your control is. Any pain in the lower back, you put your feet down. Okay. Any pain in the neck, you put your feet down. Let's do four more alternating side. Four. Three. You should have got some control. Stop there. Two more. Hands float. Float your hands off the floor. Let's test how much of your control has been your torso and how much has been your arms. Haha. <laughs> Last two. One. Okay, there we go. There's the falling off the ball. Two. Last one. Even I'm going. Good. And then knees into chest. Fantastic, guys. Get rid of the ball. Get it out of the way. We do not need it again. Okay, tuck your knees into your chest, tuck the chin into the chest, little rolls, rock yourself, keep the chin into the chest, little massage the lower back on your mat, if it's a very bony mat, be careful, use momentum, come all the way to a seated position, good, legs out straight, they look great, okay, so we're going to do some roll downs now, now some of you again who have worked with for a long time, you know, we can get down there, we don't always get up again, so we'll, we'll take it nice and slow, okay. Legs out stretched, straight knees together, pointing to the ceilings, and point the toes if you want to. Take the hands up again just to show them high. We want to be as tall and as straight as we can at this point. Then, I'm going to need to be as curved as you can. So backwards tilt, roll off your sit bones. Imagine someone's poking you in the chest, you're still looking forward, you're going to try to touch down one slow vertebrae at a time, hands to the ceiling as the head touches the floor. Now, in an ideal world, guys, strong legs, you breathe out from the chin into the chest, you peel yourself off the floor, staying curved, and then when the shoulders are over your hips, then you straighten. Stay down there if you get stuck. I'll show you on the next one. So breathing at the top, breathe out, curve, breathe out, breathe out, breathe out, breathe out, breathe out. If you can't get up in one smooth movement, bend the knees here and then up again. But as you reach forward, you hold behind the knees to help you and then you just straighten at the top, finishing with the leg straighten. So there's a version for you. Breathe in at the top, breathe out. Breathe in the bottom, bend the knees if you need to. Breathe out as you lift. Breathe in only at the last minute, legs down. Keep on going, guys, okay, keep on going. On the way down, if you find a point where you kind of land quite heavily, that's where you're stiff, effectively. And it's probably the same point where on the way up, you kind of get stuck. Now, if you get up and you have to do a little quick jolt, don't do that. 
Don't do that. Let's try and make it real slow. Three more. Breathe in. Breathe out through the movement. Okay, so let's get all through the movement. Breathe in at the bottom. Breathe out to lift. Whether you need your knees or not, it should be slow. I want it to be as slow as you can take the movement. Really. The slower you go on the way down, the better. Draw that torso in. Breathe in at the bottom, almost rest it before you come up again. Stretch the legs away, tense the legs, straighten only up at the last minute, hold. Let's do one more, please. All the way up. And then when you're finished, you're going to go cross leg. Wander hands forward. Drop to the elbows if you can for a little rest. Stretch. So drop yourself down all the way. Doesn't matter how low you go. If you can walk the hands forward, great. If not, don't worry. You feel it probably in one hip a bit more than the other, which is fine because I'm going to ask you to curl yourself back up again. Look at your feet and cross the leg in the opposite direction. It will be the weirdest feeling because you never sit like this, but it's good to balance out, right? So let's go again. Walk the hands forward. Drop to the elbows if you can. It should feel pretty weird. You should get a different stretch. Walk the hands forward if you can. Drop the head if you can. Little stretch. Good. Walk the hands back. Last little mobilizer. Kiss the soles of your feet together. The closer your heels go to your pubic bone, the harder this is. So feel free to go out quite wide. Same thing, walk the hands forward. Elbows to ankles. Elbows to floor. All the arms to the floor. Sniff your own feet. I've been wearing them all day. Sniff your feet. Hold the stretch. Breathe in, breathe out twice. On the second breath, if comfortable, push your knees towards the floor. Hold for the breath. And then release the pressure and use the hands to walk you back. Walk, 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 walk. So I haven't quite finished the mobilisation. Unhook one foot and kind of stick it behind you. I don't think anyone in here can't sit in this position. If you can't, you can stay at, at uh, cross-legged. I think everyone in here is okay. Seated mermaid, four repetitions. Hands out, triangle, chest up. Slide one hand down away, drop to the elbow, reach. Now breathe in, just look up to the ceiling. That's all I'm asking to do, look up to the ceiling. And then breathe out to push up in the middle. Breathe out across to the other side. Breathe in, look up to the ceiling. Breathe out, back again. Two more. So what you'll feel is, if you drop to the side where your foot isn't, it's quite easy. If you drop into the side where your foot is, you're stuck, but it's a much better stretch. Breathe out. That's why we swap the legs over, and we do four more to balance you out. Now, if you really can't sit like this, doesn't matter. Just go cross-legged. But with the side leg, it just gives you a little extra dimension of a really great stretch. Remember, don't forget to look up to the ceiling. Just changes the angle of your chest slightly. Breathing in and breathing out. Fantastic. We're going to actually go back onto our backs again. Because we want to do a little bit more ab work. Okay. This time, if you have a ball, I want you to prop up onto your elbows, tuck it under again, like a bra strap or where you wear a heart rate monitor. If you haven't got a ball, again, uh, like a sausage towel or something like that, that's fine. And then bring your hands behind your head, okay? Feet hip distance apart. Now we're going to do some just sort of simple ab preps. We've done these before, so you can just take the ball away and do it on the floor if it's uncomfortable. That's not a problem. Elbows are wide, chest is open, chin just into the chest. 
Now, I, we haven't really focused towards the lower back now, so do a quick tip the pelvis forward, tip the pelvis back. So it's just a really quick reset, make sure we're happy. Little pelvic tilts forward and backwards. Find the halfway point and then set the center there. So tense your abs there. The movement is further back. So you're going to chin to chest, roll back. So your breastbone really lifts up. So you're stretching the panel between your ribs to your pubic bone. And on the way up, the rib tucks down. So you press the rib into the ball, glide the ribs down to the pubic bone. Don't drop that lower back down. Let's go. Breathe in. Big breath in. Breathe out to hold. Breathe in, lift. A little different on the breath. Breathe out. Breathe in. Expand the ribs, lift the chest. Breathe out, relax into that stretch almost. Breathe in to lift. Two more, sway to breath. Breathe out. Breathe in to lift the chest. Breathe out, melt into the floor or the ball. Breathe in to lift. Breathe out to hold. Last one. Breathe in. Breathe out, hold. Breathe in, lift, hold it there. We're going to reverse the breath quicker now. Breathe in to prepare, set the center. Breathe out, back, breathe in, lift. Breathe out, back, breathe in, lift. Six more. If the band or the, sorry, the block or the ball or the cushion is too much, just go on the floor. Make the movement smaller. But guys, as long as you're not moving your lower back, and you're focusing the movement on the rib glide, you're absolutely nailing it. Two, one, and elbows down, take the block away, all the way to the floor, and pencil stretch. Okay, it doesn't matter what level you did, a beautiful pencil stretch. Excellent, nice work. Okay, so we're going to just bring the knees back in again. Roll onto our front. All the way around. I'm just going to do some little half plank lifts. So there's interesting ones because they look like they should be easier, but actually they're a little harder. Okay, but again, you can do any level that you want to. So we have our elbows. Start with your elbows directly underneath your shoulder, and then take them forward half an inch. Okay, legs outstretched behind you, but feet hip distance apart. Feet, you know, kind of straight back of the knees and heels up to the ceiling. So the move we're going to do is. A thigh lift. So you're going to take your thighs off the floor. If you go to its half plank position, and on top, you're going to tuck your tailbone under to squeeze your bum cheeks. The weird little half plank. Looking in between the hands now, keep the back of the leg beautifully long. And then you lower the thighs down. Okay, extra bit now. Just lift the ribs up. So where you are now, at rest, have the ribs as high as you can take them away from the floor. And then as you breathe out, float the thighs, keeping the rib high. So you're almost a bit rounded in the back, that's fine. Breathe in, hold. Thigh lower, keep the chest up. Keep on going. So it's breath out to thigh lift, breathe in to hold, breathe out to lower, keep the chest high. Okay, keep on going, two more. Breathing out, breathing in, breathing out, breathing in. Keep the shoulders away from the earlobes, all the way up, and all the way down. Okay, rest. We'll let the abs work, relax for a little bit. Let's work on range again. So, forehead, glue it to the back of your hands. We're going to pull the shoulders away from the ears into a modified breaststroke. Squeeze your bum cheeks together. And lengthen through your tailbone. So really go into a backwards tilt to so really help get everything working properly. Lift the breastbone off the floor. So the elbows, the shoulders, everything just kind of follows. And then put the breastbone back down again. Breastbone up, breastbone down. Keep on going. Your aim is, guys, to arch your upper back. So scoop and kind of curve up the upper back. Put your lower back 
stays the same. And that's of where the challenge is. If you're feeling it all in your lower back, just lift the chest and head, but leave the hands on the floor today. That's fine. So quick variation. So it's a chest lift, a head lift, but your arms stay on the floor. If that's comfortable, the next time you lift, stay up there, straighten the arms away, bend the elbows, squeeze the shoulder blades down the back, thumbs almost to the tips of your shoulder before you reach forward, fold the hands back under the head, then lower again. So big, big endurance there too. So lift, straighten, squeeze the shoulder blades down the back, don't move the chest as you straighten the arms forward, fold the hands under and down. Keep on going. If you need a bit less, lift the chest. Stretch one hand forward, back, forward and down and then switch over. So you lift up one hand, stretch, squeeze, stretch and down. But everyone else, everything up, forward, back, Squeeze down, okay. Three more, let's have a check. They look good. Can't see a couple of you, but they look good. Nice. Keep those hands really high, guys. Last one, keep the hands higher than your head. Good. Yeah, that's beautiful height. Rest all the way down. Okay, so get a block under your forehead if you want it. We're going to do Pilates Cobra. So not a yoga cobra, I'm going to protect that lower back. So let's take your feet out wider to the corners of your mat and let the ankle bones just kind of rest and roll inwards if they want to. Take your hands out, 90 degree elbows, straight along. This time we're going to float the breastbone up and straighten up with the elbows. The difference is here is you're going to lift the ribs up as far as they can go and then roll into a backwards tilt, squeezing your bum cheeks together. Your pubic bone needs to be off the floor. Hold it for the breath, difficult one, and then reverse it. Pubic bone down, elbows down, chest down, head down. Okay, and again, chest up, breastbone up, elbows straighten, backwards tilt, so rib cage lift, hold for the breath in. And then pubic bone down, elbows down, ribs down, head down. Okay, a few more. Breathing in, breathing out. At the top, it's really important to get that backwards tilt and then release. So think shoulder bridge, you know, we go up one vertebrae at a time. We're doing exactly the same here. Up one vertebrae at a time, shoulders away from the ears, and then we go down again one vertebrae at a time if you want to go higher slide your hands down a little lower and again all the way up peeling up one vertebrae at a time hold it at the top your pubic bone has got to be off the floor okay if the pubic bone is on the floor when you add the top of that movement too much pressure through your discs squeeze your bum cheeks Make the glutes help support and stabilise. Last one, breathing out. Hold it at the top. Now just stay at the top. Now drop the pubic bones to the floor. Drop the ribs down and pull your shoulders back. Hold, breathe in, breathe out. And very carefully bend the elbows and lower yourself down. Excellent. Bring the feet together. Push the hands up and just sit back into a nice little child pose shell stretch. Take your forehead on the hands and just rest there for a second. Nice. The base feet should feel really, really long and everything's kind of wobbly right about now. That's the, that's the aim of the game. We've got one more thing to do to stretch and mobilise you before we go back to standing. So we're going to roll ourselves back up with a little uh, four point up. Little four point up. We do a cat stretch. We did this a few weeks ago. We do a cat stretch. So chest to ceiling, head in and a backwards tilt. And then a lower, back down to neutral. 
And then we did the extra with the arms and legs as well. So together we curl up, bring one knee in towards the nose and drive the other elbow up to the ceiling. You hold for a breath in, and as you breathe out, you stretch and straighten the arms long, not high, long, 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 long. You breathe in to hold that there, and you again tuck everything in and curl the spine, hold for the breath in. Breathe out on the straighten, breathe in to hold, and breathe out to come back. Breathe in to hold, we're gonna do two more. Five on each side, so we're going as curved as we can, to as stretch as we can. Exaggerate the head drop. Exaggerate that head lift. Last one. When you finish, just gently put the hand and foot back down again. Beautiful. Five on the other side, then curl up. Knee to nose, elbow to the ceiling, hold for the breath. Breathe out, stretch. Now remember, it's on the leg there, curl. Hold for the breath in. Stretch. Again, remember, it's the reach that's important. Curl. Three more. Hold for the breath in. Move on the breath out. Again, if the breath is too much, don't worry about it. As long as you're breathing, you're good to go. Two. Hold it for a little bit, though. Curl up. When you finish your last one, good. Rest. Excellent. Excellent. We're going to come up to a high kneel. Do a quick stretch off. Bring one foot in front. Little proposal pose, yes. Hands on hips. Tuck your tailbone under. Squeeze the glute on that side. You should get a really deep stretch in that hip flexor. Float the hands up. And let's lean over slightly. Push the pubic bone forward and hold. Don't go too crazy, yeah, no Jane Fonders, just a little backwards till and a little pubic bone push forward. Hold, 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 breath, 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 nice and easy. Ease off, hand in front. Walk the hand, walk the foot forward, sorry. If you can put the foot down, fine. If you need to be foot up, then okay, just support it, but just don't drive your heel all the way, don't drive your toe all the way up. Stand up. Very good. Forwards tilt. Not a balance exercise, so please put your hand down if you need to. So forwards tilt. If you're standing, you can normal hamstring stretch. Good. Breathe in, breathe out. Hold, hold, hold. Make the hamstring full work well. And then ease back up again. Drop the knee. Go to the other side. Fantastic. So it's a backwards tilt. So if you're in that little hut, if you're in a standing half lunge, also that's fine. Push the pubic bone forward, hand up, reach it across. Good. Pubic bone directly forward, chest back, just an inch or so, no further than that. If the stretch is down the quad, you've gone too far, we want deep hip flexor. Fantastic. Breathe in, breathe out. Yeah, make it hurt a little bit. Okay, down, good. Walk those foot, then walk that foot forward, hands down if you need to. Get tall, then forwards to stick your bum out that's it lift your tailbone excellent hold great and it's not balanced hold on if you need to good breathe in gently breathe out gently hands down both knees under tuck your toes under quick toe stretch so you're just sitting back on those toes in no pressure to go really hard, but you know, the further back you go, the more stretch you're going to get. All right, rock the weight forward, hands down, or fist down, and then just sit back on your heel. Great. Put those heels into the floor, give it a little bit of a key stretch. One side, press the heel down, and the other side, press the heel down. Let's get the feet back to the middle, slide your hands back. Careful if you're feeling a bit dizzy, because the end of the class, lift your bottom. If you can, look at your belly button and keep on looking at your belly button as you roll up. But look up and find your horizon if you want to as quickly as you can. Either way, come back into the middle of your mat, wherever you are, facing in towards your cameras. And go to just a hip 
distance apart and just nice, easy and relaxed. We're going to do one little mobiliser with a little balance to finish. I wanted to do this, so I'm going to put it in even though we're nearly done. OK, so all the way on one foot and just pop the ball of the foot onto the inside of the other ankle. OK, draw that centre. Good hands. OK, everyone, let's go fingertips to belly button. Uh, sorry, thumbs to belly button, fingertip to pubic bone and heels of your hand just out a little bit. Draw the shoulders back and down and let's go for some clams in standing. So knees in, knees out. Now your hands are there. Let's draw your muscles of your tummy back. So draw the muscles away from your hand. Pull the chest back. Pull the pubic bone up towards your thumb. Three. Balance on that ankle, two, great, and hold. Slide that foot up just onto the inside of the calf and just do the same thing. So it's a small movement, really small, little bit of hip work, little bit of mobility. You know, I didn't do sideline today, but I still want those side, whoop. My mat is too squidgy. I still want those side glute muscles working really hard, even though we didn't do specific side work today. Three, good. Using the hands, make sure we're not swinging around in our bodies or just that one knee. And then put the foot down. Find the, again, ball of the foot, inside the ankle bone. The hip that we're standing on, let's lift up out of it a little bit. So really pull that hip in, get a little bit taller and start our clam, nice and gently. Swing the leg forward and out. Have a think, you know, am I doing it? Is everything else moving up here? Use those abdominals. Almost try to think rib cage, rib cage, draw it down and across. Try to get the left rib to the right hip and the right hip to the left hip. So rib to the left hip, draw it across, really tighten through that center. Let's slide the foot up, mid calf only. And again, keep on going. Nice, get the balance, pull up out of that hip. I've got to remember that mat, what I work on, is so squidgy, you just, <laughs> I just can't balance on it. Good, okay, last few, three, normal breath pattern, please, guys, two, one, and just step down, feet hip distance apart, nice and relaxed, really, really, really soft. Okay, big shoulder roll on one side, lean into that side stretch, hold it there, please, make sure the weight is on both feet equally, and then turn, look, both hands, stroke down the outside of the leg, swing to the middle, hold, breathe out to stand up. You're curling up one vertebrae at a time, big other shoulder roll, side lean, hold. Don't let the weight go off of the other foot, yeah. Turn, stroke down the outside, swing to the middle, roll up in the straight line, again curling up, one vertebrae at a time. Float the hands up and behind the head. Finish with a good old fashioned corkscrew. Drop the shoulders up, rest the shoulders down. Reach the hands up, circle yourself around. Breath in, breath out, let's go again, all the way up and down. Breathe in, shrug. Breathe out, rest. Breathe in, reach. Breathe out, circle. Two mermaids. Bend the knee, reach up, but you stay there. Breathe out, let the arm circle in front of you, looking at the hand. Breathe in, circle it up, look at the hand. Breathe out, turn the chest to the floor. Now, breathe in, turn the chest to the ceiling. Last one, chest down, chest up, and just stand up, sinking straight to that second side. Now, guys, refocus a bit more attention on keeping your legs stable and still, breathe in, breathe out, circle, that's good, breathe in, lift, breastbone to the floor, breastbone to the ceiling, so you're turning your chest, you're not turning your hips, big breath in, and up, all right, two shoulder rolls, one, and down, breathe in, breathe out, two full arm circles, breathe in, Breathe out with the heels this time, all the way up, all the way down. Take it off, set the center, lift that pelvic floor, relax the shoulders, lengthen the back of the neck, 
And thank you so much, guys. Well done. Yay! Well done, well done, well done.